شعر حضرته أن حالته الصحية تسوء حيث أن الورم بدا له أنه يقترب من قلبه فظن بأن وفاته وشيكة فطلب من أحد تلاميذه الذي كان ساهرا على خدمته هو الشيخ محمد تيمور أن يحضر له ورقة وكتب على هذه الورقة سطرين ثم وضع هذه الورقة طواها ووضعها في مغلف ثم كتب على هذا المغلف سطرا ثم أغلق ثم وضعها في مغلف آخر الذي تبين لاحقا أنه قد كتب على المغلف في حالة وفاتي ينبغي أن تعملوا وفقا لما في الداخل ثم في الورقة تبين أنه قد كتب سطرين السطر الأول كان باللغة العربية على أسوة سيدنا أبي بكر رضي الله عنه بالعربية وفي السطر الثاني قال يجب أن تبايعوا أو عليكم أن تأخذوا البيع من الشخص الذي اسمه مذكور في الداخل وأيضا عرف لاحقا أن الاسم الذي كان مكتوب في الداخل هو محمود أحمد ولكن بعد فترة بفضل الله تبارك وتعالى تحسنت صحته فطلب حضرته هذا المغلف من الشيخ محمد تيمور ومزقه وتخلص منه. On the 4th of March 1914, Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi wrote his will with his own hand. It contained detailed counsel and instructions for the selection of his successor. He wrote, My successor should be one who is righteous, popular, erudite, and of good conduct. He should overlook the shortcomings of and exercise forbearance towards the old and new friends of Hazrat Sahib. I was a well-wisher of everyone. So should he be. The lessons of the Holy Quran and Hadith should be continued. He handed it over to Mawlid Muhammad Ali and asked him to read it out to those uh, who were present there. He directed a second and third time to read it out to all the people and then inquired whether anything had been left out, to which Maulvi Muhammad Ali Sahib uh, replied that it was quite right. He then put it in the custody of Nawab Muhammad Ali Khan Sahib. Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi I passed away on Friday, March the 13th, 1914, at 2.15 p.m. at Qadian. May his soul rest in peace. Over 2,000 members of the Jumat converged in Qadian, and on the 14th of March, all the Ahmadis gathered at the Noor Mosque after the Asa prayer service. Hazrat Nawab Muhammad Ali Khan read out the will of Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi I. Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad was elected the second Khalifa of the Promised Messiah. Shortly after the election, the newly elected Khalifa Tulmasi led the funeral prayers of Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi I in a vast open space next to the Noor Mosque. He was laid to rest in the Bahishti Makbara at 6.15 p.m., next to the tomb of his holy master and benefactor, the Promised Messiah. The Promised Messiah summed up his character in the following terms. My heart was filled with such delight as was experienced by the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, on meeting Hazrat Umar, May Allah be pleased with him. When he came to me and I looked at him, I perceived that he was a sign of the signs of my Lord, and I realized that he was the outcome of my constant supplications, and my intuition informed me that he was one of the chosen servants of Allah. I observe that wisdom flows from his lips, and heavenly light descends upon him. When he addresses himself to the exposition of the Book of Allah, he reveals the sources of mysteries and causes subtleties to gush forth and uncovers wonderful treasures of wisdom that had hitherto been covered up. He is in such complete accord with me as the pulse is in accord with the breath.